Hello guys, I'm going to explain you about Arabi Spark Post now. So what is Arabi Spark Post? If you are a person who know about Arabi Spark Post, then I think this video will not be helpful for you. But if you are just you open the Spark Post and even now you don't have any clarity regarding each and every option available there, maybe then this video can help you a little bit. First of all, Arabi Spark Post is useful to create wonderful photo colleagues and images on which you can add text photos and the text has a variety of font type faces to choose and uh, it, you can also add a shape behind your text. The very great feature of the Adobe Spark Post is that it has got an option to resize the image even if the image is saved. So for example, I have created an image of a particular size and I have just saved that image but under the my photo section when I will just move there then I will get my photos that I have created and when I click the edit option there and after clicking the edit option I will get a resize option and now I can resize that same image which I have saved to any of the other sizes that I want to. And another good thing about resizing is that it automatically aligns the element in a perfect manner to the size that I have resized my photo. So let's get started. When you just open the Adobe Spark post, you will see that at the bottom you have got about templates, create new and my post option. So by default you will be landing over a page called templates and you will, here you will find uh, different posts created by other people. Templates are useful for you to make the content your own. When you click the settings section you, will ha you have got an option called video guide where you can find a brief overview of the different features of this Adobe Spark post and you, are, you have got an account you can find that your account is premium or not and as a restri uh, restriction section you can enable or disable an option uh, which says that one do you want your post to be featured as templates or not you can enable or disable that option when you click any of the template you have got an option to share or copy the link of that template on and moreover you can click remix button in order to make this template your own. So here, when I just click on the text, you can see that I have got a lot more options here to change the font typeface of this text. And these are categorized as expressive, language, natural, and under different categories they are categorized. And here, on the shape, shape section, I have got different shapes to be added behind the text that I am going to add. Aligning. Aligning the text is possible here. You can align it to the left, right or center as you like. And under the opacity, you can decide how transparent your text should be. You can just use this slide bar and you can easily arrange the opacity of your text. You can decide the spacing between each word and you have got about two options called offset or line. When you have one or more text added and when you want to bring this up or down you can adjust that here in the order tab. Under the style tab you have got a circle when you move around that circle you will find a brief overview of different styles that you can create with the text. You can just keep the circle at the position that you like, at the style of the text. And under the color tab, you will find the different colors. And you, when you click the options button visible on the color, then you can choose the option. You have got a color palette in order to choose the color. And the below you have got a HSB tab. When you click on that edit, you can just paste the code there. So you have a lot more customizing options available here. You can easily create a wonderful post. You can create a poster for your book and it's really awesome.
you can even you have got a color picker also there in order to choose the color now as i have enabled a shape you can find that there are two colors available and one is the color for the text and one is the color for the shape and after customizing the color you have got an option to add a logo under the add section you have three options add logo add photo add text when you cl click on add logo it will open a pop-up trigger a pop-up where you are said that you need to buy a subscription in order to add your logo for the post that you are adding here and here when you click on add photos you have different options such as search for free photos or abstract lightroom add from photo library so search for free photos will open a tab like these where the images that you find here are from pixabay whereas if you have a uh, adobe creative cloud subscription then you you if you have stored the images on creative cloud then you can find that images with the option called creative cloud or lightroom and when you click on the patterns you have got an option to add different pattern backgrounds for your image so here you can find that easily i can drag that so in the adobe spark post you cannot overlay one image above other or below the other your images should have a space enabled on the canvas you can create uh, images with layouts you cannot uh, overlay one image on other so you can add a text how many add as many text as you like and another good feature of editing a text is that you your text can have more than one font so when you click the a line option there then you should select the letters here and now you can change the font shape opacity spacing and uh, the way you are selecting the letters that you can choose here so now you can see that the text that i have added was h or y and now when i have selected the h and y to have different font typeface so you can see that it looks different from the r and in the select option i have got an option whether i want to choose lines if i have more than one line of text there or whether the i want to choose the letters to have the different feature under the resize section i have got a first option uh, saying as custom size where i have to enter the pixels there for this image or else there are standard size options available here such as youtube channel art and edsy cover twitter header in this way you have got a different options here and moreover you will also find the options to resize in the form of ratios such as 2 is to 1 3 is to 4 and a lot more another layout section you will find how your images can be placed so here you can find the way that your images you can place because i have said you that the images here are not overlaid rather they need a space on the canvas a dedicated space i find this one beautiful so i have selected this and now i am choosing the spacing where i am adding a border a border is a distance from the image to the final edges whereas the spacing is the distance between each and every image so choose the spacing and when i have enabled the spacing i have got another tab called color where i can choose the color for the spacing and the borders that i have enabled now so i think this looks beautiful and completely different uh, from the way it was actually looking before and after the resize option you have got a, another option called design right under the design section you will find the templates again here so when you click here but the behavior is different here it will not ch completely change the uh, text and any other thing but rather it will just change the way the uh, text is looking here so actually when we have added a template it is it was having a different text different images 
but now we have added our own image and we have uh, added one text on our own when I will choose a different design now what you are seeing is that even though the layouts positioning the background color is changing but the text and the photos that I have added are yet visible that's the difference between design and templates okay under the in this option you can find the that you can animate your text you can animate your photos and the zoom pan and gray option you will find that there is a great op animation available to be added so with the gray option you will find that the photos will be first in the gray color and then they will change to its original color i think that grow slide are a good option for animating so if you're creating a youtube channel and you need a good intro then use this option called slide or grow they're really awesome and under the filter you can change uh, how your image looks like you can apply a filter for your images that you have added here the good thing about the spark is that each and every person can easily learn about this and moreover it's very user friendly it's not in a way that you will be stuck over adding so many texts and images but the good thing here is that it will be in your control and now here under the color section you have got different palettes you can easily change the different colors that are available that are to be added on your photos but i prefer to individually change the color of each and every element share when you click on the share button you have got about two options one is that you can save this as an image when you click on that you can save on image or you can copy the link here and share it uh, share the link with others you can share it directly to the twitter instagram or with message you can directly share with these options and when you click on video then it will first generate a video and then it will show you options similar in this way so just save the image to the photo library or send an email so first of all it is creating a video now and now i have got an option to share this Below you have got an option that when you switch on your published project may be featured on the Adobe Spark website which I have de disabled under the restriction section. So this was a brief overview of what you can do with Adobe Spark. Hope you have liked it and if you want more videos in this way then be sure to subscribe and like this video. Stay cool. Bye bye.